good afternoon students today we are going to discuss about the standard entropies and entropy change of chemical reaction right so first standard entropy standard entropy what is mean by standard entropy so absolute entropy of a substance is absolute and absolute entropy of a substance is measured at 25 degrees temperature and one atmosphere pressure is called the standard entropy right so what we will say definition is absolute entropy of a substance is measured at 25 degrees temperature and one atmosphere pressure is called the standard entropy now absolute entropy what is mean by absolute entropy absolute entropy means entropy of a substance is at any temperature at any temperature above zero kelvin is called the absolute entropy so here you can say standard entropy means standard entropy means this is delta s not we can say it is so summation of so you can say direct summation of s not of products summation of products minus summation of s not of reactants so that you can say simple so entropy of substances of products minus entropy of substances of reactants we can say that is standard entropy so next definition is so a next derivation is entropy change in chemical reactions right entropy change in chemical reaction entropy change in chemical reaction chemical reaction right what is mean by entropy change in chemical reaction just now we discussed just now we discussed what is that delta s not is equal to summation of s not of products minus summation of s not of reactants right reactants so from this you can say the so one line you can say what is that so entropy change in chemical reaction is given by entropy change in chemical reaction is given by the differences between the entropies of all products and sum of the entropies of all products and sum of the entropies of all reactants you can say entropy change in chemical reaction is given by the differences between the entropies of sum of the entropies of all products and sum of the entropies of all reactants you can say so that is looks like this so before going to this consider an example consider an example consider an example consider a reaction consider a reaction consider a reaction what is that a of a plus b of b plus c of c so on you will get l of l plus m of m plus n of n so so on like this you will get so for this if i want to write the if i want to write the entropy that means what you will write so l into s of l plus m into entropy of m plus n into entropy of n plus sum you can say like that differences between reactants is what a into s of a plus b into entropy of b like this you will get so on so whereas in sl sm Sn, Sa, Sb, Sc, so on. These are all called the few substances of few substances of entropy of entropy of the substances of L, M, N, A, B, C. So all these are called the few substances of entropy of the L, M, N, A, B, C. So after that we can written as so delta S not delta S not is nothing but standard entropy. We can written as so that is you can written as summa summation of entropy of products summation of standard entropy of products minus summation of summation of reactants you can say summation of reactants you can say summation of products summation of reactants you can say right so after writing that what i told to you so this if you will consider this if you will consider take d by dt both sides that means d by dt both sides d by dt at constant d by dt at constant pressure you will take at constant d by dt at s constant pressure if you will take so that is what summation of d by dt that means ds by dt you can say at constant pressure you can take that is products same minus summation of ds by dt for reactants you can say reactants you can say right so after writing that after writing that we know some one of the equation what is what is that entropy entropy generally is equal ds is equal dq by t dq by t so here ds by dt is there 
if you give dt is as it is we know that dq by dt at constant pressure is called that is cp that is cp by t so this can be taken according to kirchhoff's law you can write in place of ds by dt you can write simply by cp by t so this is as it is so that is standard entropy so that you can take in as delta s not delta s not is equal to you can write summation of summation of cp by t cp by t of products cp by t of products minus summation of cp by t of reactants cp by t of reactants you can say so this is the entropy change in the chemical reactions entropy change in chemical reactions this is about entropy change in chemical reaction in next class we will discuss about the gibbs equations in closed system and material equilibrium phase equilibrium and uh, conditions for equilibrium equilibrium in closed system we will discuss in the next class so i will provide the link of uh, pdf link in the description link so kindly please go through it thank you